Hey, sports fans, it's 7.30, it's Thursday night. You know what that means, it's time for Daddy Yeah at Night. Big Sean Kramars, wheels with a Z, your guides to the best night in WrestleTainment around, undoubtedly. Last week, my goodness, the Nachi Mafia is back, ruining everybody's nights as usual with that spoiled sauce. Stirring the sauce again. Spoiled. The Nachi... No, that's that, the sauce. That's you, dude. That's the sauce. That's you. Fake news. But you want to talk about something that was interesting last week. Cheeky Lala has another client. You got the scoop. The and it's now the notorious BOZ is, is under the tutelage of Cheeky Lala. Yeah, unfortunately, he didn't get the W last week. Yeah, but those plans went crash and burn as the young lion of the West, Maddox, continued his winning ways here in Daddy Yeah Pro. That was something else for sure, and Maddox looks to continue that in the future. But our main event was something else. The dominant force, Jeremiah Richter, was straight up screwed by that damn Isaiah Prince. He had Kenny Brown on the ropes. That size 14 was about to be buried in the throat. And then Isaiah Prince got involved. That's not the way I see it. Isaiah Prince came out to congratulate both men on a superb job wrestling out there. And that fool, Richter, you, turned you, his you, back on Kenny, that new and improved downtown Kenny Brown. You're wearing sunglasses now. You were wearing sunglasses then. That explains a whole lot. But this week, Kenny Brown is in action. Again. Yeah. <laughs> It's the, right. it's the downtown Kenny Brown, the new and improved downtown Kenny That's Brown, right. That's right. is racking him up for sure. But is he going to be able to continue that this week? Of course, and he takes on no other than Bud Good. Yeah, that's uh, Bud how Good. Many times he, how many times has the new and improved downtown Kenny Brown beat Bud Good? Oh, Bud Good Cut doesn't quit, and Bud Good is going to be a ball of fire tonight. And Kenny Brown better watch out. But speaking of other things going down, the Jewish general Ari Sampson is in action against that bum, the landlord. <laughs> the best in pro wrestling, the landlord, taking on Mr. Mediocre. Let's no, that, right. that bum, the landlord, wheels. All right. Wait, 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 Nachi Mafia is back in action. I don't want to talk week. about that. I don't want to talk about that sauce. It ruins everything. Against the uh, referee marshal, ring marshal. The ring marshals get it right. Schwan Ross and Flex Whitney. What a week of action we got lined up. You want it? It's now. Hey guys, this is Wheels, that's with a Z with Daddy Ad Productions. I'm glad you guys are following me along with my pre-match ritual. I like to get my blood flowing, my, you know, my heart rate up. Hey, yo! What are you doing? Wheels, why does it matter to you? It really doesn't matter to me, but you're not allowed to be in the building. Grapplers Anonymous, Daddy App Productions. The okay, people are okay. talking so... Okay, time out, time out. One, what's this camera doing here? It's pre-match ritual, documentary style. Okay. Two, I don't care what it takes, I'm getting into that building. Not today. All right, you know what? Probably not ever. You nope. lost the match. Nope, I didn't lose the match. Slade lost that match, I didn't. But you know, that's beside the point. Can you do me a favor then? Sure, you do, I'm you your friend. I hope you follow through on it, because if not, I will find you. So I'm looking at my reflection in your glasses. Anyway. Ugly guy. Oh, yeah, that's right. Pass the word to Mikey for me. Uh-huh, yeah. I don't care what it takes. You tell him I will wrestle anybody, anywhere, any match stipulation. Okay. If I win, I get back into grapplers, I get back onto Daddy Yeah. And I'll say it so that you understand it, so that Mikey will understand it, and so everybody in this camera can understand it. You good? Fair enough, man. Just uh, don't try going in there anymore, dude. You're ruining your chances if you want me to give you some sound advice. You're ruining your chances of ever getting back in there. Stop showing up. And the people in the locker room, they're calling you a loser, dude. You want to be around those type of people? Let me quote something you once said to me. All right, yeah, I like that. No promises. Contact Daddy Ad today and get your Daddy Ad t-shirt and I will give mommy a special break on the rent. 
All right, what's up, everybody? It's that time. Opening contest brought to you by Carbone's Pizza, featuring the greasiest man in all of Western New York, the landlord himself. What's up? Big Sean Kramar's wheels with a Z. With a Z. And, of course, the landlord, uh, much to the chagrin of everybody across the world watching us live. Look at that bling coming off of the landlord's neck there. Right, he you was meeting tell. up with Boz, and he's got a little bit of the green neck going on, or in this case, the Absolutely. green chest. Absolutely not. Everything on the landlord is legit, including his resume as a pro wrestler. Well, the landlord has been quite successful lately, but he's got one of the toughest tests he's faced in a long time in Mr. the Mediocre. Jewish general. Enough. Mr. Mediocre Let's get it himself. right. The Jewish general, Ari Sampson, in the house and has been on fire as of late here in Daddy Yet Pro. And he's looking to bring that fire to Daddy Yet yeah, night and get a big victory over the landlord. Yeah, let's see if that pans out for him. I highly doubt he's getting any type of W going against the man himself, the landlord. Well, Wheels, that remains to be seen. It is about that time, and I hope our officials do a good job of inspecting all aspects of the landlord's gear because you know there's Paranux in the knee pad and something else, but Ari oh. Sampson, ball of fire to start us off. What a, what a cheap guy here hitting a man while he's getting ready for hey, the match. He waited till the bell sounded. That's as, all that matters. As you've seen, the landlord was clearly not ready, but and he's get, going outside to take a timeout, being blindsided by Mr. Out. Mediocre. Take a timeout. You see what you see in this hand gesture? Timeout. That's, there's, no, there's no timeouts in wrestling, and as you can see, our official is counting. Is, is he? I have yet to hear anything from him. Two. He's up to two. He's up Kramer. to two. Therefore, the rules state there is not a timeout. A countout can happen. And the Jewish general looking to get right on the landlord, but the landlord getting out of dodge again. Getting out of dodge or just trying not to be hit here. I mean, let the man yeah, get in the ring. He's showing, let's see, uh, a, let's see a, a fair competition here. He's showing that moonlight characteristic known as cowardice. You hear him talking to you, Kramer? Or did you shut your mouth when you're talking to him? You're the one that didn't pay the rent. Cut it out. I'm Landlord's one of his best friends. <laughs> in what universe do you live in where you come up with this stuff that comes out of your mouth every week on this TV program? I know it's a little crazy, but it happens to be the truth. It's a strange place, and the truth is very far stretched. Just like the Landlord, Ari Sampson crushing him in the corner. Big belly to belly. Ari Sampson taking control of the contest. Just two. Landlord kicking that left shoulder up. Kramer, you know what next week Friday is? What, what? August 19th. What? It is a good time at Big Indian. Oh man, I sh I'm, I'm glad you mentioned it. And I'm surprised we didn't mention it last week. This is the event of the summer. Some of the best times will be had when you have good times at the Big Indian featuring Bud Good. And who knows what Bud Good gonna have behind him. It's gonna be a great night. He's gonna take on Hayden Backlund. Who, uh, who's got some things to say about current states of affairs in New York State and across the world regarding those good times. Of course he does. That's going to be something to see. Get your tickets right now. Head to our Facebook account. The link is right there. We hope to see you in person on August the 19th at the Big Indian Smoke Shop in Irving, New York. But right now the landlord has really changed his fortunes and Ari Sampson is in a bad way. Down he goes. By Good the night, Mr. Medio. Good night. Oh, Barely cut two. it out. Ari Sampson, tons of gas left in the tank, and that mediocre stuff has proven numerous times to be untrue. Really? Because I'm still, I've still yet to see him rack together a few victories in a row. Oh, we're getting to the point where we can start to say it's a few, and in this contest with the landlord, Ari Sampson can be on a real roll. Ref's got to watch it there. He's grabbing at the hair of the There's landlord. No hair on top of that head. What are you talking That's about? That's not grabbable. That plane is almost out. Oh, stop it. Kramer's, Just like we're not the looking landlord's at... bank account when he takes advantage of the poor people of Western and Central New York. Oh, they signed up for it. Oh, and he makes a him a bad lord. guy. That's the guy right there. Yeah, throwing the trash out of the ring. You're ridiculous. Look at that. One of what these a move days, by the one landlord. Of these days, one of these folks at this gym are going to make you eat your words and yeah. get a smile ear from ear when I see that. You are a damn fool, Trey Mars. Uh, a journalist. A you are. Did you mistake fool for journalist? Yeah, you're a fool to call yourself a journalist. That is for sure. All right, debatable at best, but what's not debatable is Ari Sampson is in a lot of trouble right now. The landlord is reeling. Oh. 
to need this victory in the worst sort of way to establish themselves on the upper echelon of superstars here in Danny F. Pro and Ari Samson, what a right hand. He's feeling the pain from that outside of the canvas there, outside of the ring rather. Oh, he's doing what he's got to do, but the landlord first up to his feet. Even Ari was in control, this. cross body. Ari Samson all the way down on the landlord, knocking whatever wind may be left out of those lungs. I think I've seen the soul of the landlord just gassing oh, out of it. The, the soul's been gone for years. What are you talking about? Stop it. Nice butterfly suplex there from Ari Sampson, hooking the leg. The landlord getting the rope. Smart man. Great ring awareness by the landlord. Yeah, very himself. evident. Very evident the veteran experience of the landlord and the ring awareness as he got his foot on the rope, knew just where he was, and Ari Sampson into our official. Drop kick. Big DDT from the landlord. Bam. Wait a minute. Spiked on the dome. It's time, he said. It is time. Landlord for heading him to upstairs. Finish it off. Wait a minute. He's got those damn knocks. Cut it out. He's got those damn nuts. You saw him put him on his hand right now. Our official is down. Ari Sampson with a shot. For the ride. The ride landlord did not want to take. Oh, that's it. Come on, Ari man. Ari Sampson, the winner. Unreal. So it's been a few. Are you done? You, no more mediocre? Oh, he is definitely mediocre. And that's a compliment, by the way, Sean. You are not just below mediocre, let me tell you. Mediocre, whatever the hell you want to say name of Ari Sampson. His name is the Jewish general and look at this. One, two, three. The landlord is the loser. Landlord means loser tonight on Daddy at Night. It's unreal. We, we do have some matches still to come. Stay tuned, folks. Come on down to Carbone's Pizza for the best wings in town. Like these crispy garlic parm. Or these delicious country sweet. Or the heavenly honey mustard. The flavorful Cajun. Or the original hot sauce that'll have you telling your friends. <laughs> oh, and let's not forget their savory barbecue wings. Coop's Mania loves barbecue wings. Get the hell out of here, cubes! Yeah, you hear there's like new, there's more flavor. Really? Yeah, you work it, you don't know. Well, you know what I'm saying. And don't forget to try our new flavor wings, lemon pepper, and Jamaican jerk, you jerks, and tell them that the business sent you. So now, step into a chicken wing. Yeah, yeah. Guys, where are you? Guys? Hello? Ari Sampson! Last time we meet each other in the ring, you steal one from the landlord! You're going to find out the hard way! On August the 19th at the Big Indian, Irving in New York! I'm going to take back what is mine, and nobody gets away with cheating the landlord! This 
this is an amazing Daddy Yeah t-shirt for only 20 bucks. Wow! Woo! Started out with a Daddy Yeah shirt, but Daddy Yeah t-shirt! <laughs> All right, folks, we are back. It is time, the action rolling on. It is time for the Nachi Mafia. Time to stir that sauce. And we know all about that sauce. Spoiled, rotten, mold growing on the inside. Not a single soul in Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse, or anywhere nearby ever wants a sample or a taste of that horrific creation that is known as the Nashi sauce. I don't think you'd say that to their face. I just don't. I they, know for a fact you wouldn't. They have access to this footage. They see me every week. Yeah, and when I, I go like to interview them, they have a lot to say about terrible. it. It tastes terrible. And everybody else agrees. No, they don't. And not to mention the attitude of these boys. It's not well, attitude. Listen, attitude it's confidence. Or not. Attitude confidence. or not. Schwan Ross, Flex Whitney, the ring marshals are back in Daddy F. Pro. The Nachis, they better be ready for this. The Nachis, you mean the ref marshals better be ready for this. The ref marshals, enough of that. The ring marshals, rather. They sorry. have proof. Ring marshals. You're ridiculous. Anybody ever tell you that? I, are you kidding me? Did you, did you not see the size of Dan Nachi and Frank Nachi? Yeah. And that they have to be ready for the ring marshals? Absolute monsters of human beings. Yes, they must be ready for the ring marshals. Tron Ross. Flex Whitney, they are very impressive athletes, the both of them. Size, muscle, whatever the case may be, they're gonna have to be able to keep up with Whitney and Ross, and that's a tough task. But that pectoral, that definition on Frank Nachi, my goodness, beasts, genetic freaks, no doubt about it, are the Nachi Mafia. It's called hard work. Hard that's work, for called. sure, no doubt about it. Some of the strongest men, not only in Daddy Yeah Pro, no doubt about it, all of Western New York. And Frank Nachi turning his back to his opponent because he doesn't care. Complete he has no respect. Disrespect here for no Flex respect. Whitney and Schwan Ross. Of course. And you bet Flex Whitney's got his sights set on making sure that Frank Nachi pays for these mistakes. What's this guy doing? Looking for a sign of respect and a handshake to start the contest, but you know damn well. Yeah, there's the your Nazis sign of are respect. Interested in that, yeah. He's got one finger for you. That's the typical response that you can expect out of Frank Nachi, the spoiled sauce king. The not one half of the Nachi Mafia, the best tag team in all of Western New York. Allegedly. See, Allegedly. There's a big asterisk next to that. Well, why would that be? Because the tag division here in Daddy F Pro is starting to come together, and I'll tell you what, there's competition for the Nachis right now. We've got a lot going on here in the ring marshals right now. Don't be speaking too fast, because this contest just got underway. You have no idea how the cookie's gonna crumble in this one. Don't act like you do. Anything can happen in a Daddy F Pro ring anytime. Listen. I don't care who it is, anybody that is up against the Nachi Mafia, I'm taking the Nachi Mafia every time. Yeah, a lot of times, a lot of times in a betting man's market, the Nachis are a safe bet, but right now, you gotta go with the gusto, and right now, Flex Whitney, my goodness, that shoulder just sent him in a heap to the canvas. It's up and over goes Whitney. Whitney and Schwan Ross. There it is. Are definitely going to have to use their speed against the Nachis. Yeah, for sure. And Flex Whitney did just that there, showing the cardio game as well, kind of wearing out Nachi, which led to that shoulder block being successful. Oh man, Big Nachi answering power. right back. The and crazy you, look in his eyes there. He's yeah. loving it. You got to wonder and you got to question the safety of Flex Whitney and Schwan Ross at this point. When Frank Nachi is a monster in that ring. Once he gets going, and that anger starts flowing through his veins, who knows what will follow? Flex Whitney looking to avoid the inevitable. Well, you know, that being said, the referee has to be ready to jump in the middle of this match and call. Because I'll tell you what, the Nachis don't know when enough is enough. No, they will keep sure. going and injure. Uh, you know, their opponent. No, and safety is paramount here in Daddy F. Roll. The Nachis definitely have been known to take their opponent's injury levels to the next level. And you have to hope our officials are aware of that and we'll keep that in mind, especially for the sake of Flex Whitney and Schwan Ross. But right now, nice tandem offense here from the ring marshals. Double shot. Isn't enough? No, just two. 
Ross looking to follow up on that excellent offensive start here for the ring marshals. Tagging in back Whitney, is that, is that, too, is that too soon? No, absolutely not. This is smart on their part. Keep the fresh man in and keep on rotating out. Beautiful single leg drop kick right on the button by Ross. Oh, wait a minute. Did you not see what happened there? It was a tag by Dan Nachi. Dan Nachi on the outside. Taking out Ross and now Whitney. Smart move by the ref, paying attention. He had a blind tag when he when Frank hit the rope. Yeah, just as you were getting ready to criticize the work of our officials oh, here. I was not. He, it, it was clear he was not going down for the count there. I gotta give it up for Johnny Tiger, keeping things under control here at Rappler's Anonymous. Tag team action, middle of the show. Great week of action here on Daddy Yeah at night, ahead of August the 19th when it's good times at the Big Indian featuring Bud Good, Hayden Backlin, all of your favorite Daddy Ass stars. Tickets are available right now. Contact us on social media. The ticket link is right there. And we want to see each and every one of you in person. Oh, man. That's right. In they person. heard that at Big Indian. That's right. All the way in Irving, New York. Tickets, oh, man. Tickets start at only 20 bucks. Reflex Whitney acting like he's not in that much pain. But let's be honest, he's in a horrific amount of pain right now. Love this part. Just take turns stomping out their opponent here in the corner. Giving him the old rope a dope from back in the day. Flex Whitney's found himself in a spot no one prefers to be in, stuck in the corner. Both Nachi staring you in the eye. Nowhere to go except for down or into some canvas. Nachi choking the life out of Whitney right now. Looking to do whatever it takes to embarrass his opponent. And Flex Whitney happens to be that guy. Look at the leg, only one and a half. Whitney getting a shoulder up, trying to stay alive here. You gotta admire the moxie of Whitney saying, bring it on, give me some more. He's <laughs> no, she's not gonna hesitate to deliver, huh, Wheels? No, absolutely not. You know, something that could be said though is Flex is definitely, let me show some respect here. Oh man. Flex is definitely gonna be learning some lessons inside this ring tonight. You I've better seen about believe six or it. Seven of them in the last ten seconds here. <laughs> lessons here at Grapplers Anonymous are tough. My goodness, what a European uppercut on the jump! That's gonna do it. A little too close to the rope there. Yeah, ring awareness, thank goodness for that. And we're looking at the end of this contest for sure. That European uppercut scrambled the brains of Flex Whitney. And now, buried into the buckles once more. Massive trap of Nachi right into the gut. And here comes Big Dan. I would say the bruiser of this bunch, but both are equally bruisers for sure. Definitely are. Flex Whitney trying to stay alive with a back elbow, but the freight train rolls in, and once again, Whitney with a shot. cece has got an opportunity. That's a long way to go, though. Oh, no, look at the power of these boys. My goodness. Thrown to the canvas like a rag doll. Bouncing a couple of feet off the mat, only two. Somehow, only two. Flex Whitney staying in this thing. The man is dazed. Look at his eyes. He does not know where he's at. Absolutely. Lazed over is an understatement right now. Oh, look at this cocky cover. Oh, I thought he was going to put it away with the with the foot over the uh, chest there, Penn. Take another look on the bounce on our Genesis Gaming and Hobby Replay. Flex Whitney, my goodness, if he does not get a tag sometime in the next little bit here, you can mark my words, this contest is finito finished. Yeah, after getting bounced off the canvas like a basketball. I mean, how much more does Flex Whitney have? Oh, look, the man's in the fetal position on the mat right now. This is a beating being delivered right here Thursday night live on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. The spot for wrestling, the spot for the best. Oh, they're Daddy calling at it. Night. And again. <laughs> again and again and again. Encore after encore. Good night, Flex Whitney. Looks like they got season passes to Six Flags and Flex is on the ride all day long. Except the ride broke. 
Finney's still on it. <laughs> Here we go. Another free ride. Look at this strength. It's a grown man. Flex Whitney happens to be a grown man. Yeah, a grown man being treated like an absolute ragdoll isn't enough for the win. No, not yet. It's so impressive how easy Frank and Dan make it look. Yeah, seriously effortless. He could have had a conversation, made a cup of coffee, even made dinner for his wife. Oh, he's calling it now. He said, this is it. A uh, pump handle. Pump handle, let's see. Oh, slipping out. There's the tag. Here comes Ron Ross. Pure luck there. Flex Whitney just slipping out there. Desperately needed that, though. Oh, miscommunication. Shot to the knee. Got to take down the big Redwood. Ross showing what he can do as far as strikes going. It is impressive. She's going to want to answer right back. Oh, wait a minute. Nice shot right to the knee again. Big DDT, Schwan Ross turning it on. He is real in here. Slice bread up and over. Got every bit of it upset. Let's see, hooking a leg, could it be? No, not yet. And a standing moonsault. The offense Ross has put together in the last little bit here. My goodness, wheels. What a show off. He's a show off when he does it, but the Nachis on the other hand. Let's look at this one more time. This deserves to be seen. And uninterrupted by your moronic comments. Cut it out, Kramers. Just two. That's right, just two. We thought two. we were done. There you go. And meanwhile, on the bottom, double team cheating. effort here. I mean cheating. The referee's got to step seconds. in here. There it is. Springboard clothesline nailing Dan Nachi. Single leg crab. He was telling people a thing or two about crabs. Well, from my understanding, from you complaining week after week about them, they are no, they are something to not be messed with, from my understanding of what you said of how many lotions you've gone through Listen, and nothing true? works. Wheels, is it true that it. the ladies of South Buffalo call you the crustacean king? They don't. I don't mess oh, with, I don't mess oh. with hood rats around South Buffalo, brother. Flex Whitney caught off guard and decapitated. Man. We're gonna do it again. Up with the fireman's carry. We're gonna stir the sauce. No. And down. Is it enough? Of course it's enough. Academic for sure. Your winners, Frank and Dan, the Nachi Mafia. The sauce is still good, Kramars. I'm gonna go catch up with these winners and get a few words. Great, I'm sure that's what everyone wants to see after of that. Of course it is, of course it is. That's why they tune in every Thursday. Telling yourself winners that. winning. Main yeah, event yeah, time. Yeah. The new and improved downtown Kenny Brown taking on yet again, but good. Laying it on far too heavy this week, that dude with a Z. Oh, it's coming back. Hey guys, this is Wheels. That's with the Z with Daddy Ad Productions with your post match interview. I'm here with Dan and Frank, the Nachi Mafia, the winners. Why? You guys gonna be nice to me today? How are you doing, doing Wheels? How are you doing? I'm doing great. He's doing Thanks great. Thanks for asking me. We don't, I don't really care. Yeah.
shut the bleep off. I was told that I need to tone it down a little bit. I can't, I can't swear at you, but you get the picture. Now ask a question. Well, you guys are clearly dominant, and I want to know no, shit. Who, who is your honest. next opponent? Who's Not a, even a tag team in Daddy yet. Yeah, who? Who? F average. Who? F average. Who? Sky Rose. Sky Rose and who? Uh, Isis Effects. Who? Who is that? We gotta watch your language. I, I can't, we can't swear. I call myself. Right? Who else? Well, well, we just got the tag team that we just beat. We yeah. Their asses. Well, what, what are their names? The referees. The referees. 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 Yeah. Or ring marshals. Ring, ring marshals. What are their actual names? Yeah. Schwan Ross. Schwan Rust. Schwan Ross. Schwan Ross. Schwan Ross. Schwan Ross. Schwan Ross. Schwan Swan? Swan. 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 Okay, and the other guy? Flex. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, the Daddy yeah, tag team division is, it's, it's dead. It's, it's literally it's, nothing it's without dead. us. Without us. Really. Ever since we came back, the tag team division is... I, mean, I think it's skyrocketing because we're back in it. I, it is. I think so. I mean, because we are the best tag team in Buffalo, New York, currently. Currently. Maybe, maybe even New York County? New York County. New York State. New York State? New York State. How about the East? The whole East. The whole East. Shit. Yeah. No one can compare to us. Any other questions? Yeah, you're gonna uh, challenge F Average. Who? F Average. I, we've been through this. Who, who, who are those it's guys? Mike Skyros and Isis Effects, the half, the handsome. I know. Half I know Skyros. Who's the other guy? He calls himself the handsome half breed. I highly doubt he's handsome. It, it doesn't matter. They, we, they, they, they can face us, and and it's gonna be the same. Dan and I. Standing victorious. Yes. We're the most dominant tag team in Daddy. Uh, actually, I think we're just the most dominant wrestlers in Daddy. Yeah. 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 Sure. yeah. We're yeah. looking for the Daddy Championship. It should be us. It should be me and him against each other. Yeah. Where, where, where's our tag titles? No contest? No contest. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Hey, they were nice. The thing that makes Grapplers Anonymous so special is it's a great team environment. I come here and I'm able to deal with people from all different walks of life, people who necessarily wouldn't be friends in normal life, but it's everybody who has one common bond and one common goal to be able to be um, great professional wrestlers. And I think that's what this gym provides. It's a, we have a culture here of hard work and a culture of inspiring each other and a culture of supporting each other to where when you come here, you can instantly feel that. If you're a new guy coming into the gym, I feel like you can feel the brotherhood, you can feel the team environment right when you walk in. And then if you are um, making a decision to stay and keep training, you eventually get integrated into that. And then the team just keeps building and growing with all different kinds of people from all different walks of life. And I think that's really what makes this gym special. You know, last time with Muso, we had an excuse. They cheated, and they won. And tonight, we don't have a single excuse in the world. Those are big boys. They're stronger than us. They're obviously bigger than us. And they kicked our asses. And we got nothing to show for it. We got nothing to say about it other than we have to be better next time. And on the same note, I don't see anybody else around here taking on guys that size, getting their asses kicked, getting beat down, Sticking around, coming back, doing it again, week in, week out. We do have a little bit of an excuse. No offense. The last match at the Daddy Ass show, right? I got kicked in the balls. I got kicked in the gazorts. Yeah. Oh, fine. I didn't see it coming. This match? No offense. They're not Maddie. I'm a personal trainer, okay? They're not Maddie. I know I fake chess when I see one. But they did one. They did one. We're not dead yet. We're gonna go back to the wheelhouse, think of something else. Maybe we'll get them next time. Maybe get them next time. Maybe get some help. I don't know. We ain't dead yet. Not dead yet. I'm sorry, we just had a match. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine. Sorry, buddy. Hey, see this? Join the movement. Daddy, yeah. And back when we trust. All right, folks, we are back. It is Dulce Panapinto, Attorneys at Law, main event time. Big Sean Kramar's wheels with the Z. Really and this guy. The new so, and improved. Allegedly. Allegedly. The man's in the main event again. Again, Kramar's. Something you're not used to, the main event. That's hey, all right. You're here to hey, call it, though. I'm calling the main event as I do each and every week. You know, as well, here on Daddy Yeah at course, Night. Coming to you worldwide. 
7.30 Eastern Standard Time, Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. But one thing's for sure, wheels with a Z. What's that? Cheeky Lala has changed the fortunes and life of the uh, allegedly new and improved downtown Kenny Brown. No Why one you... likes this attitude, but but good. Revenge is on his mind. Why do you keep saying alleged new and improved? Like, what, what's, what, what, do you, what are you confused about, Kramer? There's no confusion on my part. The facts sure? are when little children see Kenny Brown nowadays, they cry. They used to get excited. They Who used cares? to smile. Happiness used to follow Kenny Brown. Who now cares? there's nothing but despair all around everything involving Kenny Brown. It's not about every little kid and every, uh, you know, kid's mother out there crying about the way Kenny Brown. when is it not about the kids? It, well, listen, That's why kids need to learn this. lessons sometimes, and sometimes and it's a little heartbreaking. Is it Kenny Brown's to teach the kids that lesson? Listen, it's not, and that's my point, is Kenny Brown seen pro wrestling for what it is, and he knows there are no real friends out there for him to have his back. So he's doing it solo with Cheeky Lala, and, and the results are unanimous. It's win after win after win. I'm so blown away that you are this confused by what Kenny Brown has turned into. I, I, I'm confused. I'm, I'm a little baffled that it wasn't sooner. I have no confusion whatsoever. I won't argue with the levels of success that Kenny Brown has attained since acquiring the services of Chiki Lala. But attitude aside, you're right on that. But Bud Good right now, I'm hoping can put downtown back where he belongs in his place because the actions at downtown in recent months have been appalling. <laughs> Wins or not, I'm tired of it's it. About, Bud Good's our man. Bud Good's the guy to get the job done. It's all about the wins, Kramers. Yep, and Bud Good's gonna get one right here. Revenge is a bit a dish best served cold and available right here exclusively in your Dorsey County Pinto at that Walk Main event. Well, he better get this victory for the sake of himself because he's got a big match next week, Friday, main eventing. The good time at Big India. Yeah, I've heard rumors that the politician Hayden Backlund, aka America's Choice, has some choice words for everybody in urban New York. Bud Good, and pretty much everybody around New York State, so you gotta be there in attendance in person to find out just what that message will be. But right now, if downtown Kenny Brown has any choice in the matter, Bud Good is not gonna be able to be in attendance. This or next Friday, that is. Bud Good's got to get himself out of this corner and mount some more offense in this contest. That's exactly right. These guys have a long history with one another. They used to be friends. And then Kenny seen the light. Let's just address the elephant in the room. There was no reason whatsoever, no rightful reason for Kenny Brown to put Bud Good in a neck brace, for Kenny Brown to continue the assault in the manner he did. It was a the statement. Actions, the actions were despicable, statement or not. There's many ways you can make a statement, and Kenny Brown has made them earlier in his career. He's a former world champion. Sure. But whatever the case may be, Bud Good is here to right the wrong. He's having a hard time doing it right now, and that's because of Kenny Brown's newfound streak, newfound relentlessness. Winning. It is very addictive there, Trey Myers. Yeah, but Bud Good answering back with a short arm clothesline. Arm drag takeover. A man like you who takes L's throughout his life, I know it's hard to believe. All I knew was win, that's a fact. But right now, <laughs> up and down goes Bud Good. Ask the people their opinion on that one. Yeah, I don't care about their opinion on that one. You keep puffing yourself up there, buddy. Not necessary, the athletes speak for themselves. But with that being said, right now you hear everybody here at Grapplers firmly behind Bud Good, as Bud Good is on a mission to extract the revenge that he so rightfully deserves based on the actions of Kenny Brown. And Bud Good should stop giving Kenny Brown the rest time doing just that on the outside. Sneaking a man from behind again. Actually, I think he did it the right way, just broke the count. The right way. When the man's not looking, of course it's the right way for you. Oh, see it right here? Face to face, man to man, mano e mano is what Bud Good wants. And Kenny Brown! Sucker and then Bud bastard. Good. That bastard, I can't stand this guy. Watch your mouth, Kramers. What about the kids you were talking about earlier? 
You're the such kid, a hypocrite, yeah, dude. The, the kids, the kids are not hypocrite. enjoying what they're watching as far as they're what's not. going on with their hero Blood Good being hammered on by this guy, downtown Kenny Brown, with his terrific oh. attitude. And my goodness, the chest of Blood Good just went from side to side. I'm not happy with hearing what you have to say. Look at this. Make an example out of Bud Good again. Rubber burn on the forehead is inevitable in a situation like that. Kenny Brown, innovative ways of causing pain and discomfort for Bud Good. Look how cool and collective the new and improved downtown Kenny Brown is. He is having the time of his life out there at Grappler's Anonymous training facility, Kramars. Yeah, look at him posing for a photo. He's loving life. Yeah, that's one thing that is markedly different about downtown Kenny Brown. You don't see as much time playing to the audience. All you see is... Why would you need to? Kenny Brown being focused on the task at hand and taking his time to rest. The energy. That's what was missing. Let's see, got Bud Good in trouble with the cover here. Lateral press, only good for two. Big surprise by that, Bud Good kicking up. Yeah, downtown Kenny Brown, got to do some more, got to bring some more assault and pain towards Bud Good if he wants to be successful. Bud Good trying to fight his way off the canvas here, but Kenny Brown answering right back to the right. One big right sending Bud Good. Yeah, definitely rattling the brains of one but good. This goes around, swinging a miss by good. Oh, he's got that sleeper. Yeah, but Bud good saying no way. Big side suplex. Oh, and the cover. Look Perfect out. Positioning by good, able to roll over. Using maybe his last bit of energy to execute that one. Let's see if there's anything left in the tank. I think that was it. I think it was that slam and, and him just draping his arm over by accident. Abba right now involved in a slugfest. Got it no. set. Big neck breaker by Good. Another cover. Let's see. This really could turn things around for Bud Good. Just a two here. Two and a half. As close as you can get to the count of three. Bud Good on the verge of something big. Yeah, that's right. Calling for the pile driver. Taste of his own medicine. Come on, bud. Oh, cut it out. That's right. Light it up. Put it out. It's time. Kenny Brown, though, not going to go that easily, Wheels. No, absolutely not. And for the ride goes Bud Good. Big time counter there by the new and improved downtown Kenny Brown. He's having none of it. He will not be embarrassed by Bud Good. Yeah, a little bit of a miscalculation on Good's part there to figure that he had Kenny Brown in a spot. But watch this neck breaker once again. Excellent stuff from Bud Good ahead of August 19th. Got to get through this challenge to get to Hayden Backlund. Yeah, he definitely wants to pick up a W heading into good times at Big India. You already know where I'm going to be. Come on. Listen, wherever Daddy yeah, Pro goes, I go. You know that. Do I need to say it 10 more times in a row? You know where it's going to be. Product placement. Say it 10 more times. Bud Good barely kicking out. The man. He should just give it up because he needs to live to fight for another day. And the other day needs to be next week, Friday. I mean, come on. The Friday, new August 19th. Tickets available now. And yeah, you're right, man. Bud Good in a world of trouble right now. Kenny Brown could be on the verge of putting away Bud Good, not for just tonight, but for the foreseeable future. Look at the foam coming out of the mouth of Bud Good as the life is choked out, the air removed from the lungs. That's it. That is it. The ref needs to step in here. Oh, oh. nobody home. Kenny Brown sitting on the high end of things. That's not where you want to land. That is not the song Kenny Brown envisioned singing to our audience tonight, but nevertheless, that's the spot he's in. But good with another big opportunity to close the gap. Turn around, Kenny. Oh, no. A couple no. of rights delivered by Bud Good. Put your hands up. Come on. Oh, here we go, winding it up all the way, and a left. Uppercut right directly under the jaw. Switch a Rui there with, for Bud Good. Oh, here we go with the Bulldog. Or shall we call it the Bud Dog? He's looking to end it is what he's looking to do, but he... Oh, Kenny Brown, like a house of fire, answering right back. Big time count. Oh, ho, oh, oh. hey, ho, Are you speechless? Gear? Are you speechless what there, is Kramers? happening? 
Look no. at this. No, come on, bud. Oh. Right on the top of his skull. Right on the crown. That's it. That's Call it. Call it. Kenny Brown is your winner. Now he's your winner. No. Jumping the I, gun I, there, there was Kramer. No need to jump the gun. It was academic. You can see Bud Good's eyes were far in the back of his head. No way that man snuck a shoulder up. Man, what a win for Kenny Brown. And you saw that second gear that not a lot of people have. He just went right into it. Yeah, right after that kip up, he found his second energy there and just. Look at that look. Is not, uh, you know, he is fed up having to beat up Bud Good. I, I can assure you that. Nonetheless, I am Wheels with a Z. That is that Chrome Dome. Big Sean Kramer is next to me. We will hopefully see you next week, August 19th, at Big Indian for a good time. But tune in next week, Thursday, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Take care, folks. My name is Mike Hill Grit here at Daddy Ear Productions, and I got a brand new t-shirt just for you out there. It's not $40, it's not even $45, it's only $20, and grab yourself one right now, Daddy Ear.